to the struggle with Candace Thompson. Guess who I am? Candace Thompson. <laughs> Mal hates how many times I say my name. <laughs> What's your name, girl? Candace Thompson. Oh, I like that. Because <laughs> it sounds good. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for listening to The Struggle. If you have not listened to this before, I'm going to give you the rundown of what this is. Every week we have on a different guest to talk about something that they're struggling with. Because as adults, we all know the struggle is real. So I like to talk about it and I like to laugh about it. So... That's what we do here on The Struggle with Candace Thompson. I'm Candace Thompson. So I'm going to introduce my co-host to look at Mal's face. (laughs) (laughs) I want to introduce my co-host, Mal Hall. Say what's up. Tell everybody where they can find you. Hi, everybody. I'm the co-host on Candace (laughs) Thompson. Okay, we're laughing. <laughs> we're laughing because Paul, the, one of the producer here of the podcast, took a picture of Mal's face while I was saying my name numerous times, and it is priceless. That, that is a memeable photo. <laughs> that is a memeable photo. What's up, everybody? I'm Mal. Uh, I'm the co-host on Candace Thompson's podcast. <laughs> You have to struggle. say the struggle with Candace Thompson. The struggle with Candace Thompson. Yes. Yeah. Podcast Candace Thompson. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on all the social medias at Mal Hall, but especially uh, shout out to like a bunch of you have actually started subscribing to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Mal Hall TV. That's great. And we have, now I'm going to introduce our lovely guest for today. We have the very talented, you're a comedic actress and you do sketch and improv have you done stand-up before? Me and Malware Towers. I don't know if I've ever like done stand-up with you before. You did my show like two that years ago. That is right. That was years ago. So yes. So yeah. She does stand-up too. <laughs> she is uh That's gonna be the meme. It's gonna be my face. And then when Candace then Thompson when I say, asks you if you've ever you done, done stand-up, stand-up up. before. I was like, I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you do I'll everything. Be, be be you do everything though. And I, and you be traveling. I be seeing Trevina. She's in Greece one year, like for a year, she'll be gone. Then she'll be in South Africa. Yeah. And Just I come, be traveling. I so, back Bulu's. And, girl, the struggle. Bugle. So tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Trevina Springer. That's Spell that. T R A V. Get close to the microphone. T R A V as in Victor, I N A. Springer, like Jerry Springer. Mm hmm. No relation. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I'm Jerry Springer's illegitimate yeah, daughter. Listen, I've been getting them checked. <laughs> Hours and everything. I come out. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Also, I'm Jokes by Candace. I forgot I didn't say that yeah. at the top for Twitter and Instagram, all social media, and CandaceThompsonComedy.com. So, um, really quickly, I'm going to start off by saying a struggle that I've had recently. Um, and I don't think we've talked about this on the podcast before, but I have a cat in my apartment now. Oh, that is a struggle. I, I, I met the cat last week. You met week. the cat who yeah. has a name. His name is Dill. I just call him Cat. <laughs> <laughs> All cats have the same name, really, because cats don't respond they don't to respond. names. We talked about yeah. this. We were like, it's a waste yeah. of a name to give a cat a name because they don't answer to anything. Yeah. They don't, you don't, they don't come when you call them. They don't like fetch when you throw so they yeah. don't play with you so what's the point you don't train them every cat responds to here kitty 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 or <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you it. what they also respond to being shoved <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh animal abuse it's not <laughs> just shove a mild shove <laughs> and I'll tell you why I had to shove a cat this morning because, well, first of all, let us it's not my cat. She had to shove a okay, pussy. Right. I shoved a pussy. Uh, my roommate has, his mother was moving, and she has multiple animals, apparently. Mm. And his sister took, I think, three of them. And then he's like, how do you feel about cats? And I was like, why? What? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? That's not a good way to open a conversation mm-hmm. is how do you feel about cats? Because I, I have an aversion to cats. So then he was like, well, my mom needs us to watch her cat for a little bit. And I was like, 
I've been trying to manifest a puppy. Like, I love dogs. So I've been trying to manifest a puppy in my life, and this is what happens. Cats are the gateway to puppies. Are they? No. (laughs) (laughs) Cats are the gateway to more cats. (laughs) Right. It's the gateway to crazy and loneliness. That's what it is. So I was like, I'm not. I was Me just being a nice person. Mm -hmm. I... I'm trying not to be a selfish person. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's some selfishness that I will always have with me just being alone for most of my life. So that's, and not having kids or anything like that or, or a boyfriend either for most of my life. So I was like, let me do something nice and like not make this a a big thing. I'll be like, sure. The cat can stay here for a little while. So there's just this cat that's been in my apartment. And I, what I don't like about it is, okay, he took a massive shit yesterday (laughs) in his, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never so, seen that. Cats can do that. Yeah, cats be pooping. <laughs> they be pooping, and you know, I think it is a little bit confusing because the litter looks like it's just for like urine, like for mm. a cat. And normally, when you go to someone's house who has a cat, it smells like cat piss. Right. When you go in, it's like the whole place just smells like cat pee. Which always another thing. I was like, I don't want to have this place smelling like cat piss. Mm-hmm. And it's worse. It smells like cat shit. Oh, is it big like a dog? The cat or the poop? Uh, <laughs> a dog sized poop. Yeah, it's a, poop. Cat, it's a regular sized cat, but that shit, uh-huh. ooh, that was a human shit. Oh. It's a big, medium sized cat. It's like a big, that's a decent sized cat. He's a decent size. Yeah, he's not a kitten. He's yeah. a full size cat. Yeah. And um, he took a shit, and I'm not cleaning that up. You know, I'm not going to empty the litter box. So it just had to smell like shit in my apartment. <laughs> when I got home yesterday from the airport, and I was just like, what the fuck is that smell? This cat be shitting. So (laughs) that is, I hate that. Also, now I have to keep my bedroom door closed like all the time. Otherwise, if I leave the house and I leave that door open, the cat's going to be all up in my shit on my bed. And Mm. everyone who listens to this podcast or listens to my old podcast know I'm a germaphobe. I do not want any animal. Yeah, we were... Yes. We were talking about we ran we had an audition we had an audition together last week and we ran into it and we talked about the struggle with germs but I do not want an animal in my bed and everyone's like just wash wash the cat if it if you know if you're and I'm like I'm not washing a cat I'm also not going to do this like every day <laughs> Like, I saw what he plays. He plays, like, in dust. <laughs> like, he's just rolling around on the floor. Like it's more of an indictment on the cleanliness of your house. <laughs> oh, yeah. That there is yeah, there's dust. piles of dust. There's enough dust for a cat to play with at my house. <laughs> there was a giant dust ball. <laughs> hey, Dill, what do you got over there? What are you playing with? Dill, oh, the, shoot, that's the just dust, a, <laughs> a giant dust ball. <laughs> and it was. It was under our dining room table. And I was like, that, and I left it there for him to play with. <laughs> like he doesn't have any other toys. He just play with this ball, this tumbleweed size ball of dust. Yeah. <laughs> Our place is huge. You've seen it. Yeah. I'm not cleaning that all the time. It's just it's, it's too big. So anyway, yeah, so I had to I literally shoved the cat today because he's tried to get in my room like three different times. And my door, something's wrong with the lock. So like if you close it, it doesn't fully say closed. You just have to push on it and it'll open, mm-hmm. which I'm having fixed like soon. Please. But this cat knows this now. So he just comes up and he'll just like boom and just bump the door open. Smart cat. Is he? He about to get his tail cut off. <laughs> Dang. Is that smart? Sounds like a smart cat. How no. long do you have to? I don't know how long he's going to be there. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it hasn't even, it's been like two weeks now, I think. Two Maybe weeks. tops. Check in in yeah. like three weeks. Candace is going to be like, I love this cat. Yeah. No, I don't like cats. I don't like cats in general, but you're going to like that cat. Responsibility as a non-cat person. How did I get just my having, this is why I need my own place. Mm. Like don't, this is why roommates are an ongoing problem. Like you just want, and nobody wants to have to have a roommate, but when you're in LA, you know, again, the struggle is real. Mm -hmm. So real. Unless you want to pay $2,000 a month for like a one bedroom in this area. Like it's, it's insane. So anyway, that's my struggle. I'm going to come back next week with like Chinese food and a, and fried cat on top of it. Dang. Hey, got any, is anybody hungry? Oh. <laughs> and then Mal's going to come back over to my place. Candace, where's the cat? What, you eat I don't cat? know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Mal, you also had something happen to you. I'm just str- I had a struggle over the weekend with like uh, people not stealing. Like, people just being good people. Like, mm-hmm. I had shows show some Brea this past weekend, and every show was awesome. I left my merch table out in the lobby, and then 
people would wait until I got out there to like get t-shirts and stuff. And then last night or Sunday night after the first show, I come out and like I sell two different kinds of shirts and one entire pile of shirts that I had there was just gone (gasps) because people had left the show and just took it and left. How was there nobody there watching this happen? Because no, I'm the opener. Nobody really cares about the They're like, take your shirts. Yeah. Wow. These are complimentary. Those are free. <laughs> what concert have you ever gone to where they're just handing out free shirts? None. None. None That's ever right. in the history that of That person ever. is losing money. Yeah. That just terrible. doesn't make so sense. So I had six shirts stolen. It sort of ruined my mood for the late show that night. But, you know, whatever. Some people are shitty and some people aren't. Well, but you know, now I just have to switch up my entire, like, it takes longer now because I have to set up after I get out there instead of having yeah. it all set up. You know what you need to do is set up a camera. Mm. I mean, they have a camera there. You no. didn't ask to see the footage? No, I don't. I mean, what am I going to do? Hunt you them can, down Yeah, you over, can't find them. You know, yeah. I can understand. Like, that's that's challenging. But yeah. you know what? And this is pretty shitty because Mal just recently lost his wallet. Oh, and then yeah. there was a good civilian who returned it to him oh. that made him have hope in humanity again. Now I've lost <laughs> now it. <it's> gone. <laughs> as, as it should never have yeah. existed. Right? Yeah. I have no faith in anybody yeah. <laughs> ever. Like, I always expect people to do the worst. I always do. And I know that's not like it's like a flaw, of course, but I do. I expect nothing from people. There's an, another struggle that I have is like I'm too loyal to brand names. <laughs> Your brand loyalty is a struggle? Dude, my brand loyalty is very real. Like, I have this Hydro Flask, right? And I want another one, but Hydro Flask, like this size Hydro Flask, yeah. costs $40. Oh. I got it as a gift. I would never spend that. But I yeah. was at Costco the other day, and they have a similar product mm-hmm. called Thermo Flask, and it costs $24 Ooh, for yeah. two of them. But I'm like, oh, it's not but- Hydro Flask, though, so I can't. It might be better. But it might be worse. But you don't know. You won't know. And you had to buy two of them or did they sell them? They sell them in a two pack for $24. You pay for it. Give me one. <laughs> like, how does it solve anything? <laughs> did you just ask me to buy you gifts? Get another thing of water. Like this Hydro Flask is like so good. Yeah. I get that. I get it. So nothing cheaper could be better. Look, is my mentality. Yeah. You don't go from Nike tennis shoes to like, oh. They have them down at Payless for the same. I mean, it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I know, but it's Costco. Costco has good products. He's, that's true. He's, yeah, that's what that's he's forgetting. True. You can't compare true. like Payless. I have brand loyalty when it comes to toilet paper. Like Charmin Me too. Or Charmin nothing. is Charmin the best. Charmin or nothing. Huh? Charmin is, is the best. And here's the thing is I just made the switch. I was yes. using Quilted Northern. <laughs> they had you fooled. Because the name. Quilted. I was like, who doesn't want a quilt on their booty? <laughs> That sounds lovely. I, yeah, no. I use Angel Soft. What? Angel Soft is not bad. I think I tried that once and I didn't like no. it. I'm going to be honest with you. I really just get Target toilet paper. Whatever He's the cheapest man, one is, I get. I would like to But I also get it with accompanying wet ones now. That's how I live my life. Oh, wet, yeah. Well, wet one mm, life. You have, Yeah, no. I have the wet ones sitting on the tank just in case. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, but I use the quilted. Just I use the quilted more than before. Now I switch. Jesus. Are, you an, are you a soft or strong? The red one or the, the blue one? For the wet one? You know, I don't know. Ones? I don't know. For the Charmin, because Charmin has a soft. I think the strong. one that I now I use now is soft. Okay, I, I used to be a strong, and then I found soft. And I, found, oh. <laughs> I think that, I'm telling you, that I it has to be the soft ones, because I, I had, like, a visceral reaction to it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I was like, I wiped it. I was like, Oh. Oh, I'm gonna make a second pass. I'm gonna make a second pass. <laughs> Not even, didn't even have to, but I'm gonna do a gratuitous just, second pass he, just just to do it. <laughs> I want to feel this again. <laughs> it was it was it was bliss. I can't even expect. That's the only way I can describe it. Here's a, another thing I do with toilet paper is uh, when I'm in hotels. I'll take that toilet paper home. But why? Why? That's not good toilet it's paper. It's free. Uh, it's free toilet paper. Mal. But I take have, everything I'm out all, of the hotel. I'm all for stealing stuff from hotels. Yeah. I'm all for that life. You know, the shampoos and stuff. Well, mm-hmm. sometimes. It's I'm, usually trash. But it's, yeah. I carry that so that it's travel size in case I need to wash my hair on the road and I'm somewhere where it doesn't have, I have that with me. Mm-hmm. But it is normally, gar- unless you're yeah. like at a five-star hotel, exactly. you can't trust their products. That's what I was going to say. I stay at nice hotels. They yeah. have good toilet paper. I mean, I stay at nice hotels too, but even so, it's, it's never, not it's, not, it's not charming, Mal. Come on. <laughs> you sound stupid right now. <laughs> you sound so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. 
when you say it that way and then two girls laugh at you, you feel stupid. <laughs> well, wait. I get Costco toilet paper, too. I've never used Costco toilet paper. I roll paper. with Costco There's toilet a such paper. There's thing as called. Oh, yeah. It's Kirkland. Kirkland, Kirkland brand. Paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You and you just paper. you buy it once and you're good for like four or five months. For the next five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just one giant roll of toilet I've paper. I've got a giant forest in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about trees. Is what I'm, saying. <laughs> I'm surprised I've never had uh, uh, Kirkland toilet paper because my dad goes to Costco religiously. Really? Like he's just there and will come home, buy bulk everything and just... If you ever need anything, like if, if we've run out of toilet paper, for some reason he'll get regular toilet paper, not Costco, but like razors, water, <laughs> any band aids. The in go in the basement and there's like a storage of just <laughs> like yeah, my dad's. He's my a dad doomsday guy. Run out. Yeah, he's he a survivalist. Play. He's but, like, I always need extra creamers, right? Extra ketchup, right? Always, <laughs> but this is expired. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why did you buy seventy pounds of tuna? <laughs> yeah. like, this isn't gonna last. <laughs> So, Mal, you said really quickly, you said you made fun of us. Or not, you didn't make fun of us, but you said that you just use the regular toilet paper. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm, I don't have like a specific toilet paper brand that I get. So this goes back to Trevina. When you first came in here, you were talking about how you were, knew we were about to podcast. So you did your makeup in the car <laughs> yeah. and she was stuck in traffic. There was some march yeah. happening. Like, there's marches every week yeah. now. <laughs> so every week. Just plan to get stuck somewhere. <laughs> so she was putting on her makeup and her eyelashes. And Mal was just like, you put on eyelashes for, for a, a podcast? podcast? <laughs> 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 and you know what that is? That's male privilege, yeah, Mal. right? <laughs> I guess. Like, or, <laughs> or, I mean, it's like you're... Radio. I mean, most people are just listening to this with the earphones. For now, but we are. We do a video of this that we'll be posting. I had to walk from my car. Oh yeah. To the podcast. Oh, that's yeah, true. that. But also, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Mal you, doesn't understand the pressures. Heaven forbid you walk down the street with no well, that, makeup. Uh, yeah. I'm not really. That you don't. Strict, though, yeah, no. Of course but not. There are we're some not people, that. I'm not that person. But right. I like. Um, I knew that we would probably take a picture. Of course, she knew. Camera ready. All right. In well, LA, I respect it. I'm. I respect it. But I also. I mean, I feel like you're dressing up for us, and it's like we don't I care. I respect <laughs> she, you. Not, that's, that's, Mal. Well, I'm. I'm saying we appreciate <laughs> Just it. Just because you don't take pride in the way you look doesn't mean that other people don't. You do know, it. I was stuck in traffic and I was like, let's just kill this time. But like the fact, like, it's just as women, we have so many things, so much maintenance that we have to do. We have to mm -hmm. worry about so many things. And unfortunately, like our faces are one of them. Yeah. OK, because if we if we let's say we post this picture or we post this video and then they're going to be dudes on. Why Candace look pale as shit today? Yeah, she looked tired as fuck. Because She's don't. white. Hey, oh, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Go sit in the corner for seven minutes. I'll be right seven back, minutes. everybody. Seven, seven minutes. minutes. Set your stopwatch now. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we get it. Like, men don't get comments about the way they look. We post ourselves online, and we just are open ourselves up to all different types of ridicule. Has it been seven minutes? No, and you're not even in a corner. <laughs> yes, I am. They Face don't the wall. Know. Face the wall. Also, my makeup's on. Can oh. you see it? When you come back to the table, you better have eyelashes on <laughs> and a fake mole somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. Like, I have... Um, a lot of guy friends who, well, most of them, not in a lot, like all of them. I don't know who wears makeup to auditions, but like the idea of going to an audition without yeah. makeup is like what I talk about. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Like who does it? I did it once. Without? Now, did they request specifically no. for you to come with a natural was, look? Or you I just... came back from South Africa and I was like, zero Fs. Um, I am yeah. jet lagged. I yeah. haven't been back and I'm just going in. I had yeah. a lip on. But I didn't and they go. were like, who are you, miss? We have here a Trevina <laughs> Springer that's supposed to be here, <laughs> yeah. but you look like. <laughs> but that's the fear. Like, I don't know. You can look up looking like who did show up like yeah. night, who did what and ran like yeah. what happened to you guys don't so wait yeah. how'd the audition go did it did it affect your confidence I was so relaxed from my trip I came in I had studied the lines a little bit on the mm -hmm. plane but not really that morning mm -hmm. I actually booked it <laughs> right so the, why are we wearing makeup <laughs> thank That's you for making my argument for me girl no but then I said that was just a fluke <laughs> I was like that wasn't she like I did that the next I did, 10 I auditions did it, right, and it didn't work it didn't work and it didn't work no callback so yeah, I'm no. Like, all right, all right. we have to we have to wear have makeup to. unless oh, yeah. you're unless normally what it is they'll ask for a natural no makeup look which otherwise, is really a makeup look because they don't know they met 
I've had men come up to me like, oh, I like you without makeup. I'm like, I'm wearing a full face. Full face. <laughs> I have on a yeah. full face of makeup right now. But that, that's a, that's just a testament to how good we apply it because yeah. it's like they can't. It looks natural. I don't, don't want to be know. out here in these streets looking like a clown. And there's too much IG, like with Instagram. You have to be know what really what a real face looks like. No. Because everyone is done up. All the so, time. And they like, why you look like that? Like, this her is face. my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my face. And that would be her face if she mm-hmm. took off the eight that's, layers. Exactly. Okay, men are stupid. All right, yeah. so <laughs> that's the takeaway for the opening I feel of this like class. I'm fighting. <laughs> and burping. <laughs> <laughs> you look so ridiculous with his hoodie. He's got his hoodie on, and then he's got the headphones on top like of it. You're doing the Breakfast Club. I feel. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does. He does look like look. you about to. <laughs> Charlemagne. Look at. Are you guys finished? Or are you through? <laughs> Is that the same thing. Put some respect yeah. on my name. That's uh, where that happened. Respect. Yeah. Um, what you trying to say? No, I feel like I'm fighting for you guys to like be able to not wear makeup. Like you don't have to do it. Yeah. No, we know. Like, I don't care. Like, I tell my girlfriend all the time. Don't, like, work You are there. beautiful, no matter what they say. What can bring me down? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. That's unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too much? Is that too much? Too much too much. All right. <laughs> much too much. Let's get to, let's let's get get to, to her struggles. struggle. Let's get, let's get to the meat the meat of this podcast i have so many i um, know everybody <laughs> everyone does like yes guys, you know um uh, one of my struggles is that i um have a really hard time with um time management yes and intelligent like you know how people process things differently and some people don't um aren't really good with directions yeah mm-hmm. you can tell someone go north and it'll be on the east like yeah i'm terrible I can do that, but like with time intelligence, I don't know how long stuff will take. <laughs> I'm always late. Like, I'll Which is late. why she was late to this podcast no, I today. But it, today I was like, I'm going to be there at 145, so I'm early. <laughs> that was the goal because, listen, if I don't lie to myself in my calendar mm-hmm. about what time something is, listen, I had this audition. Mm-hmm. And I must have already known because I put the time 30 minutes earlier in my thing and I was running late. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then I checked the email and I said, uh-huh. won't he do it? Won't he do it? Because I had to. I But it's because I'll like be getting ready and I'll mm-hmm. say this eyelash application will just take. That's only be. That'll take 30 seconds. Right. And it's like a five. And it'll take thing. 10. 10. Or then I'll say, oh, this dish is in the sink. I should wash this right yeah. now. Yeah. Because that's what I need to do. Yeah. Do you have OCD? Is that why? Um, <laughs> are you <laughs> retarded? Is what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's. I probably have ADHD, okay. and so it's hard to like stay focused on something. Lord, yeah. So I don't listen. I wonder what it feels like to be like uh, on that medication. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Get something focused. I mean, on. I can probably get some for you if you want to try it. Adderall. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hear. Like, I hear. It, well, it is just cocaine. Literally, it's just like legal cocaine. Okay, that scares me. Never mind. It, it, so. No, it really just hops. Like you'll just be. It'll feel like you are just like this. The super well, focused and hyper. I hear people who don't have it have a different effect than the people who. If you need it, if you have ADD or ADHD, you'll taking get work the drug, done. Mm-hmm. It will help. It will do the opposite. You'll get work done. I would You'll be super get, focused. But I, I don't know if it's going to help with time management. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's one of those. But it's bad. So I like, and I feel bad because I'll be late somewhere. Like if I'm meeting a friend for brunch and I feel I'm riddled with guilt because mm-hmm. I'm going to be late and mm-hmm. I, I don't want them to take it personally. I'm mm-hmm. like, it's not you. Mm-hmm. I really thought this would take me 15 minutes. <laughs> and it was 30 minutes. But I knew it wouldn't. And I still... <laughs> And I still here's the thing, but in LA everybody's late all the time because traffic is awful. Yeah, and everywhere. So that's like a built-in excuse. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is because the- then you know you're going to be late. You know right. everyone's always late. And you know traffic's bad, so just leave a little bit exactly. earlier. But still, it's like no, no. I leave when I I leave, and I did this when I used to work the day job. I knew how long it took me to get to work. I knew that every day there'd be traffic. Yeah. And guess what time I still left every day. <laughs> and every day I was late. <laughs> like I could have left 20 minutes earlier, but I was like, nah, because this is how long it should take me. Right. So this ain't my fault. It's traffic's fault. So they just got to deal with me being late. I didn't do it's anything bad. there anyway, so it was fine. <laughs> uh, it's bad. It's that or or I'll um it's like so hard for me to get out of the house. Like I'm supposed to go to someone's 
event, a party, something. I'm like, oh. Do you find, what's the hardest part? Do you find getting motivated the hardest part? Or do you find just the, the it's just time consuming your process to get ready? Probably the motivation. The motivation. To get, so once I get up and I get, like, I get there, mm-hmm. I am almost always the last person to leave, though. Right. Oh, it's, she's, she's like, like, once I'm there, <laughs> in this. I'm yeah. spending the night. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but yeah. it's like, it shows with the time, I won't realize that I've been someplace yeah. for that much time. Like, whatever's <laughs> happening... <laughs> I've been here for 17 hours. Like, it's whatever's happening right now in the moment is more important than the other thing that I have to go do. Of course. Meanwhile, you're just watching cat videos online. (laughs) Because I I hate hate cats. It's psycho. Do you... um... Do you set your your clocks in your house? Are they all set? Yes, they're they're fast. They're ahead. Yes, they're fast. And still doesn't. I, I was going to say that never worked for me because I know they're fast. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, I'll look at the clock and be like, oh shit, it's 730. <laughs> I was supposed to be there at 745, but I'll be like, oh, it's really <laughs> 715. Yeah, yeah. So I got time still. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll bullshit until it's really 730 yeah. again and be like, oh, I could have just left. Now my- I am late. Now I really <laughs> am late. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. I um, will like, and I won't tell myself how fast it is. I'll just hit the button several times. Yeah. I won't look. <laughs> That's actually good. That's my strategy. So I don't know it's 15 minutes. It could be seven or 12. I don't know. But I'm still, it's. That's risky. It is. It's a lot in my car. And so when other people who are normal or in yeah. my car, they freak out. They'll see the time. Like, oh my God. I'm like, oh no, no, no. It's fast. I don't know how. You don't I'm know how by how much. It could be an hour. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> it could be two days ahead. I don't Hilarious. Know. <laughs> it might still be on like when we fell back. or <laughs> Right. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on daylight savings time. <laughs> Still, <laughs> that's why I'm late. <laughs> so wait, what's the worst thing that has ever happened to you, or happened just in general from you just being late? Has there anything that you missed, or somebody got really mad at you because you were late, or you <laughs> hurt somebody's feelings? Um, this one time. Oh no, I was um I was late for a call and. <laughs> I got they fired you. No, I did not get fired. But well, I don't know. We'll see. But I um, oh, no. no, no, it was I just wasn't sure. Either way, I got late and everybody was like really not they were, nice because they were just waiting on they you. Were, and I'm like, well, there was reasons behind that. So actually, it wasn't my fault, but it never is. It, <laughs> <laughs> is it? Everybody. Uh, yeah. was so, really crunk. So wait, you, you mean a call time? Yeah. Right. Okay. I just, so our listeners who don't know what a call is like yeah, well, as like performers, actors will have a call time that we're supposed to be on set. So in case someone got confused and think you were just taking a phone call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was late for call. Um, I think that might be like so bad that, um, uh, they, like, I was getting called by not my name. Like, people often, that's another struggle, will mispronounce my name. What, what so okay, so, so. Like, my name is Travina. I'll yeah. get Travina, Travina, Tra- Travinia, <laughs> Travina. It's all these remixes. I'm like, why is there a, you know. Because people can't read. Yeah, really. It's literally, at the end of the day, that's all it is. Because your name is phonetically spelled. Yeah. They Trevina. can't read or they're microaggressions. You're a black girl. Yeah. Not even a yeah. woman. So <laughs> Yeah. Right. Like Listen. that's not. Uh, so, yeah. And so it happened a few times. And so I very politely because I had to learn that sometimes you need to correct people of because course. it's my name. I was yeah. learned that by getting called on the stage. And I was like, oh, welcome no. to Trevina Spencer. And I was like, that's and, and they it, mess, and they messed up the easier was, part of your name. Yeah. Got it. Springer? And, I ignored it. Was, <laughs> and they said Spencer. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've been called Spencer before. So I just got on and I ignored it and it like totally affected my sex. I was like, that's not my name. No. I know because it makes you feel like, oh, I'm not even important enough not for you. you to- I'm that's on it. the show. There's probably only five people on this show tops. <laughs> it's on the You paper. have one job <laughs> yeah. and that's just to say my name right. So anyway, um, so I, and I was always a new kid. I was an army brat. So I'm used to like, people just butchering my name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I so I self advocated. and was like, oh, actually, you know, it's Trevina, and uh, it's actually late, girl. She, Get over here to this spot. Actually, <laughs> the first thing I was like, you know, that's late, girl. I go, uh, yeah, it's actually uh, Trevina, and he goes, I'm just. How about I'm just gonna call you. Don't be late to set again. And I was like, oh. wow, that's wow. aggressive. That was I say that was very aggressive. <laughs> You should have been, that's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> how do you travel? You said you just got back from South Africa. Like, how do you get to the airport on time? 
Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Is that a that's a struggle? Okay. So let have me you, tell you. Do you miss flies? Yes. You have? Oh my, oh my gosh. Not all the time, but when I tell you I'm that last person that gets, that gets on the there. plane or running, I did miss. Let's see. I did miss a flight. I'm trying to remember if it was the flight. Yes, I went to New York recently. I had a show in New York, and I missed the flight, mm-hmm. the first one, and then I kind of got like, I, and the second one, I think, but that's not my fault. And the second well, one. That, Sabina. <laughs> You're at the airport at that point. <laughs> what did you do? Did you go back home? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I missed the first one. Okay, I'll go home. And then take I a nap. I had to go home. I listen. No, actually, it was it was like when they had that storm and all the flights were canceled, so they had to like yeah. bump people, bump people. Yeah, yeah. But it is a struggle because um, I always forget that like, oh, LAX is not a normal airport. Like, right. there's all that traffic you can get there, but then there's the airport it's traffic. Airport traffic inside, right? It's bad. So, um, but I can't. The problem is I cannot stand to get someplace. Early. That gives me so much anxiety. I know that's very weird. Really? Getting there early get, gives you anxiety rather than getting there late. Right? Listen, what? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds I like mean, your body is just genetically predisposed <laughs> to showing up late. Well, you know, I like, okay. <laughs> I'd rather make everybody, everybody else uncomfortable with how late I am than me be <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> well, it's. I don't, okay, well, not being early. Like, being early is nice. When you're on time, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this feels nice. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. like, rolling up to an audition, I'm like, I have prep time. Right. But getting there with time on my hands, yeah. like, I get antsy. It's hard to sit, like, why am Do I Do you have games on your phone or, like, something, like, carry an iPad with you to occupy yourself? YouTube. Yeah. A book. Yeah. <laughs> I could, but then that's Meditate. still sitting. Have a beer it's at still, the bar. So you just get antsy. I do a little bit. I guess like I hate sitting through movies. What's early? It's really? At the you movie just... theater is hard. I don't watch what I don't like watching movies at the movie theater very much because it's like how much more time? Maybe you do have ADHD. She, she might you might yeah. have it. It can be diagnosed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're doctors. <laughs> and <laughs> so pleasing. We diagnosed Mal is corny on the I think the first episode that he co-hosted yeah. on and we were accurate so i feel Aww. like all of our diagnoses are you know, gonna be precise yeah, i'm all messed up mal you know i'm here with you <laughs> i think i am a corny sister hell and, yeah you know and we just high-fived yes. <laughs> doesn't get any cornier than that guys <laughs> he's like yeah corny, cute corn balls <laughs> it's yeah i guess i might be and um I'll blame my dad. He for your lateness or your corniness? Oh, my dad. He's not like that. He hates like that late stuff. No. Oh, okay. So he's a military he's... guy. No. Oh, that's right. You yeah. did mention that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But did, were you raised like that? Did he raise you, or did your mom? There's... Like, were you guys raised to be punctual, discipline, like yeah. military oh. discipline? Um, yes and no. My my parents are still together, and we were raised uh, in a. Disciplined enough. Like, my dad did not have us doing push ups, thank God. But if we were boys, we would have been doing it. Mm-hmm. shows up with this broad dad. <laughs> yeah, hey God guys, damn. you guys have a bigger chair. It's hard to <laughs> sit in between you two. That girl has got a wide back. <laughs> like me in high school, I did have a wide back. Really? Oh. It's like I gain weight and it goes all to my back. You guys, you guys didn't see my old prom photo from when I posted? No. You didn't look at that. Look on oh, my yeah. Oh, yeah, thickness. 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 It was all arms and back. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> but back to your... I guess, like, it was definitely, like, a household. We said, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. There were definitely rules. My mother is not really good with time. She'll be late. That's where you got it okay, from. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. my dad, it drives him crazy. He's yeah. like, she knows. How, why don't you pick out your clothes the night before? I, as a man, always have my clothes picked. I know what I'm wearing. I'm like, dad... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dad, you were a cop. You had the same a uniform. uniform. <laughs> you have a uniform. At best, you just had to make sure it was clean. And you <laughs> shave your head. So, like, you don't have to do your hair. Like, Again, it? it's a process. Right? You, right. You're, he's taking all the choice out of it. Like, you know you don't have to think about. And I'm the type of person, like, I like to dress the way I feel. Yeah, it's how you feel in the moment. Like, the mood reflects it. Yeah. How yeah, long like, does it take to find out how you feel? <laughs> well, I meditate every morning. <laughs> That takes like an hour and a half. Like these are girl problems because my girlfriend, it takes like we're late all the time too because, yeah, because she her. takes forever to get ready. Well, first of all, Mal, yeah. you are always late. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. For what? Everything. Oh. I showed up on time today. No, you didn't. I was you were late. One minute 
And I it texted was, you. It was more like two minutes. Definitely. Hilarious. You That's were walking thing, to your car as I pulled up. Uh-oh. That's right on time. Uh, no, you were no because I was waiting to hear from you. How is it? What I was waiting for you to to say here, so I would then I would leave. I texted you. Mal's used to me walking, being in my car by the time he gets here because he's always running late. On time. So what? No. <laughs> Normally, what will happen, Trevina, is that you know when you're supposed to be say you say meet in my house and then we'll go together. Mm-hmm. You'll wait for that person to arrive at your door, right? And then you walk to the car together. Yeah. What normally happens with Mal, because he's always late, is that I will have, I know he's running late, so I'll be in my car. As soon as he parks, he jumps in my car and we go. That's not normal. (laughs) Seems efficient. It seems efficient, right? Because you're late. (laughs) And then what I know, I know is like when I am early or more like on time. Mm -hmm. Your early I is want, on time. I need you to note that. I need you to call, like, <laughs> congratulate me. <laughs> she wants a present. <laughs> like, you want a cookie? You want you a pat on the you back? You were supposed to be on time. <laughs> I need you to recognize. The people like, Trevina, you're always late. I was like, um, <laughs> last week, <laughs> on Wednesday, I showed up five minutes early, so don't even, like, on job reviews. I remember I'd be like, um, I'm not always late, thank you. I'm not always late. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's my that's one of my my like positive attributes. I'm not always late. <laughs> Sometimes I show up on time. Yeah. What do you Maybe. think is like too early where you're twiddling your thumbs at the airport? That's mm. what I want to do. Because I am a get to the airport 45 minutes before my flight leaves. Kind yeah, of person. I like to do that. Well, that's the right time. 45 minutes. You mean? Oh, you mean? Did you at say the, the right time or the white time? No, I said the right. Time. <laughs> I swear I heard white. Yeah, the white. That's well, the white thing. time. Yeah. But no, I like getting out of the car forty five minutes before my flight leaves. That's risky. That's what I do. That's yeah, risky. I feel like I have TSA pre though, so I know oh I don't have check. I don't yeah, have yeah. none of that. Yeah, so okay. I, you you paid for that? No, I got it as a gift. Oh nice. Okay. Someone gifted it to okay. you. Mm-hmm. You can gift pre check. You should just no, reimburse me the money. Oh okay, and but you have to renew that every year, huh? Is that five years, eighty five? It's good for five years, oh, eighty five dollars, and it's only five eight? years. And oh, I think okay. with like an American Express card or something, one of those cards, you get a discount. Oh, one of those cards. Some we were just talking about this. Good recently. to know, but no one else do this because right? <laughs> then there'll be everybody <laughs> in pre-check. <Yeah. laughs> everybody will be in pre-check. Then we have to get that pre pre check. Pre pre pre. And then I'll probably still be late. Like, I need that. Of I course, need, we'll still be late. I need someone to constantly be like, okay, 10 minutes out. Yeah. Like, I have yeah. the, the setup on my on my um, GPS app that says, time to leave. And I'm like, okay, that's a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a recommendation. <laughs> GPS doesn't know what it's talking yeah. about. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was sad today when it was like, my plan. She she did. She and then you're so sweet. She calls and was like, Candace. And I thought you were gonna cancel. Oh, I'm not that person. But she, I would said I would be that person. She said she was like, I don't wanna be that person. And you were like, but, this and I was chick. like, I was literally like about to walk out the door. I'm not about to walk out. I think it was like maybe like twenty minutes or so. I don't remember. But it was and I was like, I was like getting ready to leave. And then she was like, I don't wanna be that person, but I'm gonna be late. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, care if you're late yeah. like that's nothing i thought she was gonna because we you know that happens that every, shit happens you could get an audition that's true. you get a phone call and you're just I like oh shit. i just found out about this audition five minutes ago i'm canceling on your show i mean yeah, literally true. and we have to be prepared for that's that true. and if that's the case then we just deal with it yeah. but that's one of the things with being in la is like literally everyone always has something better to do yeah. it's true <laughs> it's oh it's so that's true. true there's is, yeah. there's always you could i wish like you could call into your day job like i'm sorry i have something better to do because <laughs> <laughs> this is the only industry where you can literally call in, I have something better to do. Yeah. And people are like, yeah. And people are like, yeah, we get it. We get it. Yeah. I wish I had something better to do right now because I would leave you too. Yeah. I would ghost all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like, where did Candace go? Oh, she had something better to do. Do you have another struggle? Uh, oh, wait, really quickly. So, yeah. I want to tell you, I was in uh, Atlanta uh-huh. just Atlanta. now. Uh-huh. and Or just now, this past weekend. Just now. I just came in from Atlanta. But when well, you're talking about your name struggle, and I would just like to give a shout out to the Lyft drivers in Atlanta <laughs> for having the best names. <laughs> Let me tell you, we saw, okay, the first one that I, that, that I saw that took note was Sequana. Okay. Shout out to Sequana in Atlanta, Lyft driver. She was so nice and sweet. All of the Lyft drivers out there were so nice and sweet, and they were playing the best music. Oh, really? I would just get into the Lyft, and they'd be playing like old school R&B, like Donny Hathaway. It was amazing. Levert. What was okay. her name? 
uh, Sequana. Sequana. Then. What kind of car does a Sequana drive? She actually was driving. We called that night. We called like the bigger size one because there was like six of us. So she was driving like a minivan. uh, No, it was like a nice SUV. Okay, big truck. Yeah. And then the next day I got in the car, a lift with a woman named Armentress. Armchair? I took a a screenshot of her. Okay. Um, A-R-M-E-N-T-R-E-S-S was her name. Did you ask a story on these names? I feel like that's rude. I don't know. People ask me all the time. Yeah, but your name is not... Malacochran? No, No. it it is different, but like that's not like a... like a stereotypical like black name, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. yeah, whereas I like I, I don't want to be like Shaniqua. Where'd you get? You? Yeah. That just sounds like a white question to ask. Right. We're just like as black people, we just need to accept that black people though, sometimes yeah. have right unique you know, my, names. My dad would guess that he, um, he called to a house because you know, he was a cop, uh huh, and he'd be like. Look, Shaniqua, how do you know that's my name? <laughs> <laughs> Just a hunch. <laughs> so out, of out of control. I love your dad, and we haven't even met. The last one that I took note of was uh, Ivante, and this was a man. Okay. His name was Ivante. His mom was Yvonne. Why? Like, starts like Yvonne, Y V O N E T A E. Yvonne. Or so her name is Yvonne and daddy's name is Yvonne. Or yeah. Dante. Yeah. Dante or Dante. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm going to put this together. Yeah. Did you give all of them five stars? Of course. Okay. Yeah, no, they were all, I'm telling you, they Based were. Based on name alone. Name alone. We got a minor fender bender, but that name, <laughs> five star girl. They ran over a puppy, but I still yeah. gave them five stars. <laughs> yeah, no, they were all very, it's that Southern hospitality, man. Like they were very sweet. All of them were just very hospitable. It was great. Mm. Not like out here. Oh. Where everyone has an agenda. And they're just like, what do you do? And it's like, here's my business. I don't want your business oh card, gosh, Carl. Oh my gosh, why are you giving me your card? Like, I, I'm like, I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta. Oh, you know, I, I actually Airbnb in Atlanta. If you need a place to live. No, everyone out here hustling. A, yeah. I had real yeah. estate. If you ever ready to buy a house. Like, <laughs> what? You're a real estate Uber driver? <laughs> are you selling real estate from your car? <laughs> Gotten it all. Wait, I did want to ask if you struggle with this. Because um, I know you are a religious person. Ish. Spiritual ish. Well, I converted to Islam, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Like that seems like I don't like the label religious. But then I guess I me practice. neither. I call I call myself Spirit. spiritual. Yeah, I like yeah. being spiritual. But Same. I do fast for Ramadan. Okay. When this airs, it will be Ramadan. So oh, like next week. Next week. Wait a minute. Is airs next week? Not in two weeks. No, it'll be next week. I don't mm-hmm. know. Well, okay, the week after. Ramadan's like the 11th or 12th. How long is that fast? <laughs> she, she's I spiritual. Said no, yeah, 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 she's spiritual. She's, she's late on the fast as well. She does Ramadan when she wants she to do it. <laughs> uh, she shows up late. She shows up late to the fast. <laughs> She shows up eating to the... F- oh, it oh, started? Oh, it's oh my, bad. Bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. Let me, let me spit this she out. eating chicken tenders. What? I thought it started in... Oh, it was 45 minutes ago. My bad. My bad, my bad. Let's do the start over clock. I said my clock's wrong. My clock has the wrong time. I'm still on daylight savings. So I'm not sure if that affects Raman. I should know. It's, it's coming soon. It's coming oh, soon. <laughs> so I know being a spiritual person that I don't like... Like the struggle of uh, n- there's not that many spiritual people in this industry. Mm, like yeah. there's so many people that don't believe in anything like at all, just godless people. Mm-hmm. And uh, it makes me not, I don't feel I'm completely confident in it, but at the same time, I feel like I wish there was like a community or a bigger group of people that like I, I knew that I could talk to about certain things mm-hmm. or that I knew like just were, you know, wouldn't judge you or be judge me or just you know there's a church that one church i think they're like all artists what church it's called one church i think i mean i don't know i've switched teams so i don't do that but i don't go there anymore but no i think they're like they're a lot everyone's an artist Mm -hmm. there but i i agree i feel like in hollywood i'm from the south so religion is very generally yeah christianity is very open right shared it's kind of assumed in fact Mm -hmm. even the news will say you know for Sunday church, you know, at church today, this is what the temperature, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is a challenge out here sometimes surrounding yourself when you say things. Um, luckily, I've found enough people that feel the same or like, you know, are spiritual enough. Mm-hmm. Where it's not weird. But whenever I say I'm fasting, why are you doing that? 
Well, out here, fasting means you trying to lose 75 yes. pounds for a, a movie role. <laughs> Absolutely. And so if they ask, I'm like, oh, why are you fasting? I'm like, oh, you know, it's Ramadan. Ramadan why right. would you do that? Mm-mm, I couldn't know. Ramadan, but like, who is that? <laughs> you fasting for a man? No, girl, you got it all wrong. He need to be fasting for you. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is get a man. <laughs> That will sacrifice. It's weird, you know, and Ramadan is a holy month where Muslims fast from food, water, sex, and uh, from, like, sex. pre-sunrise. Yeah, I can't yeah, be Muslim. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I've been like, on a like long fast from sex right Listen, now. So, yeah. girl, just <laughs> dry. Um, <laughs> I love the sound effect that she just provided. <laughs> just. <laughs> How did you like it? <laughs> that sounds so cavernous and dry. So hot and I've dry. Never, I've never, uh, I've never heard of a vagina that's ashy before. But <laughs> I think that's what it would sound like. Ashy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Um, the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and it's. Listen, I mean, yeah, struggle is real. So, um, but. With that being said, yeah. yes, it's weird. And so when I say that, but if I was like, oh, I'm not eating any, I'm doing the master cleanse. Or I'm You'd not be eating like, oh, girl, girl yeah. that's cool. I want to do that. Your skin I'm- is glowing. <laughs> like, so you oh, make up it. another excuse for the I fast don't, and stuff. because I don't care. But like, it really is like, oh, I'm doing it for God. Mm, that's weird. Mm, right. Mm, oh. <laughs> I've, n- I've never met so many people, uh, black people specifically, that yeah. don't believe in anything. In anything? In like any- atheists? Any. Maybe that? agnostic, maybe okay. not atheist, but leaning yeah. maybe towards agnostic. But there are, I do know a lot of atheists as well. And I'm just like, you're dead inside. Yeah. Like, what is that? Yeah. I don't believe anyone's atheist. But that though. explains, like, the city. That's yeah. why I hate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. worships something, though. Yeah. You got a God. Fame. Like money. Fame, money. Right. Sex, right. Absolutely. Popularity, Instagram, yeah. something. Right. But I get it. I understand. Instagram, I'm like, that's that new one. <laughs> like, I need worship that Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I need these likes. It is true. But, you know, it's like, do you? I'm like, I just live my life and I don't like people who shove stuff. Well, of course. The extraness. Like, just, do just you? live. Do you? And that's how. Right. You know. Just do you. And don't hurt anybody. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't hurt, hurt other people. And don't be a whack person. Um, I mean, well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many whack speaking of people, whackness. Trevina. Uh, yeah, so uh, speaking of the dryness, that is my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> is this uh, the dating struggle? It's a da- Like, listen, I'm trying to be open because I don't know. Like, it's me. It probably is me because, again, mm-hmm. I blame my family because um, I have a For real, being too good. I have good family. Great. Same. Like, my parents are happily married. And Same. my dad is, like, the bomb. The ba- Same. He flew in from Florida to paint my wall pink. My, I was like, my dad, I was painting my room last year. My dad asked me, do you want me to fly to paint oh. it for you? Look at Mal's face. Oh, Mal. <laughs> Mal I'm doesn't sorry. have a father. Yeah. So he doesn't understand the concepts of what we're saying right now. I feel guilty sometimes. So I'm very happy I have a friend to talk to this about. Like, I have a dad too. <laughs> the struggle of having good parents. <laughs> so it- and that's why I want to have kids. Because oh, you want to be a good dad. I'm, I will be and a good I'm dad. And I'm the opposite. I'm like, well, I... Well, you wouldn't have to worry about it at all if you didn't have kids. But, you know, that's another argument. Continue. I'm sorry. Parents, no, it's just like my parents. I'm still like, mom and dad. Maybe your dad flew out just to paint one wall and then flew back? He, like, hung out an with me An accent wall? Bit. Yeah, just an accent just wall. Just one wall. Wait, but you couldn't handle that? Uh, but this is the she thing. She could have. I could. Listen, I can kill the spider but my <laughs> 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 Play? Uh, it's, no, it's Jill's guy. Oh, uh, I, I need you. That's so I, like, I don't think I know that one. Do, do, do. I'm just used to her like, singing about food. She does. It's basically like you know, like I can, I can pay my own light bill. I can do this. Right. I can do that. But I need you. So, this, right. Like I know how to change a tire, but there is no way that I would ever change a tire if there's a man within like a one mile radius. Yeah, no, you should just do that. Don't also, do that. but now just an app, just be like boop boop boop, right? Boop, and then someone's there to someone's change to it, it for you. And I could paint my. And it's usually a right. man that arrives that's going to change it for you. My dad will do it. So that's the that's thing. cool. Like, though. He'll come and wash my car and then get me some groceries. Wait, he'll wash your car and then fly back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, now you can go, Dad. Right? <laughs> Thanks. And he'll like, you know, hang out and eat my vegan food because I'm not going to cook me. Yeah. And then, but you see, this is why I'm single because I'm like, wait a minute. You guys don't do this? You don't. No. My, but my chair's swiveling. We you just have the urge to fix it. Men are not men anymore, uh, Tarina. It's a, not only that, it's just a different generation mm-hmm. of, it's just 
Wait, I'm sorry, what, Mal? I'm a man. Yeah. Do you do that kind of stuff? Yeah, I do feel stuff for Carlene, yeah. Do you? You're just like, oh, your no. car looks dirty. Let me take care of this. Do you do no, that? No, because I don't your wash car, my car. I said your car is a mess car. itself. Oh, okay. I don't wash my car, but like. You're like handy? I, yeah, I can fix okay. things. Can you fi- if the toilet was messed I up, would you things, fix it? I fix things. I'm tech support for everybody. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I could fix the toilet. Okay. I can do basic stuff. I'm not like, uh, I, w- I can't build you a house right now. <laughs> like, Ow, off the list. <laughs> See, that's the Deal problem. breaker. <laughs> My man needs to be able to build a house. <laughs> build a house from scratch. <laughs> Don't be going to Home Depot. <laughs> Don't be going to Home Depot, go to the forest with an axe. If he don't know how to defuse a bomb, it's over. If he don't know which wires to snip. Jeez, why are people trying to bomb you? That's not important. (laughs) I mean... I Wait, so you don't find a lot of guys that... No. No, like, listen, like, not even... You don't even know. Look, so I made the mistake. I'm trying to be open, and I probably shouldn't even share this because I didn't. No, please. I, please, you know, you I made a dry vagina, to, vagina sound. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> that's just the dust. Just, that's just the. It's just like air. So, um, I think that's where that dust ball in my house came from. My vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So you know, and it's fine. It's my life. I'm like really happy. I love being single. Um, <laughs> where'd Trevina go? <laughs> Trevino so much. You're, you're, you're independent. You have to have your own space. You get to do yeah. whatever you want. And <laughs> Look at her face. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, but uh, so I was out with um, a friend. We're at Whole Foods, and which is like a nice place to mm-hmm. randomly see people. And I well, I was being loud and obnoxious with a friend, and so I guess this, I hope he didn't overhear me. We kept looking at this guy, and I think I was making him uncomfortable. Uh-huh. So I, when we were getting ready to leave, I went to apologize. I'm sorry. We were just like staring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, "That's okay. I find you very attractive." I look like a hot mess though, because I was just like running errands, right? Right, right. And I was like, "Okay." So, anyways, the number exchange happened, mm-hmm. and no, no, I gave him my number, and he texts me his name, and then like ten minutes later. I'm very attracted to black women. LOL. This is a this yeah. is a white man, white guy. No, or was he something else? He's a something else, which made me be like, hmm, how do I feel about this trifling text message? <laughs> <laughs> I should have. How do you with respond that. to he that? Was not he was not white, but he he was something. He was you know maybe like he, Persian he, 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 or or. He's he could have been Armenian. Mexican. And, you know, he could have been a lot. No. Could have been a very Mexican. tan white man. <laughs> yeah, he could have been. But not with that name. So I was he like. He could have been a Rachel Dolezal. What was his name? A, a white man. Uh, and That's the first name. Yeah. You can say a first name. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to listen to this. That's true. Yeah. Well, he, mean, he doesn't listen. If you say he Blake or something or like. Or Chad. <laughs> yeah. Like, what no. is it? His first name was Sharif. Sharif? And I was like, okay, first of all, but he wasn't you, black? I see something Mediterranean, right. though. No, he definitely, yeah. He, I, I looked at him and I, my friend was like, he's Mexican. I said, no. No, girl, ain't no yeah, Mexicans said, named no, Sharif. No, before he knew his name, I looked at him and I was like, no, he's North African. That dude looks Egyptian specifically. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's Egyptian. I found yeah. him. I asked out. So, anyhow, I was like, oh, Sharif, okay, cool. And he's an Arab. Like, you know, he has an Arabic name. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, but his last name was different so I was thrown off anyways then the black girl thing and I was like okay I wanted to be like and F this never mind leave me alone but right like it's uh but then my struggle is that I either attract this or I don't know I'm just too nice Mm -hmm. and I just let's I don't shut it down I don't know what to say to that and so So how did you respond well I ignored it (laughs) You didn't respond at all. And then later on, like, act like it didn't happen. So, yeah. So, change the subject. <laughs> so, anyways, that was funny. Uh, but I did bring it up later. I was like, you know what? I'm a comedian. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where could yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I said, like, a whole day later. So, earlier you mentioned that you like, black, like, completely not Zekward or whatever right. we were talking about. <laughs> Remember when you said <laughs> you were into black women? Can you elaborate? What do you mean exactly? Yeah. That's the direct test. <laughs> I want to circle back to something you said. <laughs> yeah, let's just. <laughs> that was a whole two days ago. What were you, what were you thinking? He was like, oh. I didn't tell you, but I put a pin in that. And now we're back. 
because I'm a woman and that's how we are. And we never forget. <laughs> and what did that. he say? He was like, oh, I just, I'm just, i just attracted to the way you are or something. And I was like, the so it's not, our, it's not our... Uh, so this is some weird fetish. It's not our act, right? Right. Obsession with weed right. or insecurities. What is it? What is it right. about black women? Because we're all in Nicki Minaj Anaconda videos. Yeah. I don't know. But I spoke to him on the phone and I was thinking maybe he's like, you know... A fob or something, and maybe he doesn't know that's not okay. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Nope, he sounded like a white dude on the phone. So I was like, okay, you're American enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, he's assimilated. Did you go out with him? Not yet. It probably will never happen. He seems like he dates on Tinder, and that's how people communicate. Oh, but you should totally go on the date. I'm making myself go on ridiculous, dates. putting myself in ridiculous situations just for the because I want material. I'm yeah, tired material, of like, like I'm in. a I was talking about this on our last podcast. Like I'm like in a rut. Like I kind of am tired of everything I'm talking about, and I want to mm-hmm. like do things that are like. Gonna spark some type of inspiration for me. Maybe you can get her to go wrangle pus- or wrangle some dick with you down at a hotel. Oh yeah, did we talk about this? Yes, already? we did. I would. I want to. Oh yeah, come. yeah, Let's go on the dick expedition. Yes, yeah, dick expedition. Yeah, we're gonna end up. It's gonna be you, me, and Cornelia. That's what's gonna happen. I'm here for it because yeah, I ha- I don't have faith in the other people that were part of that group text, <laughs> and you know who you are if you're listening to it, Courtney Black and Jackie Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and now everybody else does too. Yeah. You guys were very disappointing. I was very excited to go on that expedition, and I'm not gonna lie, you let me down. So now you're out the expedition. I just, yeah, I want, um, yeah. To, I was trying to be open, so I like went back and forth with him. Over, he kept saying things like, "I wish I was right next to you." I wish I no, could, that's weird, girl. right? I wish I could have my arms around you. No, no, no. What? We just met. I take it back. Do not go on the table. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, you can go, but it's going to a public place. Right. Go to like a bar or something where there's a lot of people. Yeah. Hometown buffet. There's always <laughs> people there. I'm always Tons down for of hometown them. buffet. Go. You want me to go with yeah. you? <laughs> Maybe. Let's go on the date and we'll do a Cyrano de Bergerac type thing where it's like you sit there and I you have a piece in your ear and I tell you what to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. So I called him though and I said, listen question because we were going back and forth to text and he was sending these weird things and I was like I just can't <laughs> so that's my response to so many things I can't so I, I can't. call him like hey listen let's just talk on the phone um you've been saying a lot of things you seem very forward and I'm just curious like what your intentions are like what are your exp- assumptions yeah. about me uh I don't really have any I just kind of you know see where it goes just kind of one of he like, has yeah basically you no, think this he is has intent- intentions. I said I don't date on tinder honey so yeah I don't no know what- he has intentions yeah, this Absolutely, is 100%. this is what I talk about on stage. This is why guys need to have more girlfriends so you know how to talk to women. Like this is Absolutely. Like that's why I'm always shocked when you, like he, whenever we have a female is, guest on the show, I'm shocked. like, wait, they who did what? talks <laughs> like that? Like, why would you even I can't wait? Like no, then I get a text at one AM. Like this is I met him at like maybe five in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. In like, Whole Foods. Five, why are you ran, texting me at one in the morning? At one in the one, morning. Like, I'm thinking about you right now. It's okay. too late for this right now. You can't <laughs> That's not, that's not, it's not you, it's not sweet anymore. This isn't, this isn't nice. You're, this is not romantic. You haven't been out already. Like this, this is creepy. We talked for two minutes. Right. And I looked a hot mess and I was like, oh, so you just think all black girls are like fast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I was trying to yeah. say. I like black women. Yeah. You know how you black. I like women. you darkies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I made him grunt, but that's just what made it funny. Definitely don't go out with that guy. He seems like but, it's bad. But here. you know what I want to complain about for a sec, because I know we're like at our mark now, but. So we had to wrap up. But in ge- I think men just now just don't know how to date anymore mm. because of the ease of w- with, with which women are sleeping with men mm-hmm. and the thirst of women just wanting to be with guys. It has ruined it has genuinely ruined courting. It has genuinely courting, ruined yes. the respect of let me take you out on a date first. Let me not text you when it's one o'clock in the morning because it's just expected now. And women yeah. are responding to they this. They are responding. Someone else has responded to this, which is why like numerous oh, you like black girls. Oh, I love and that. And not oh, just like, one, but like numerous, numerous. women oh have gosh, set the standard for this. Me? Like, right. Like I told I have a like a friend of mine who there's been a flirtation going on for a very long time. And just recently, something happened and he like was initiated us to like uh, for like to take it to the next level. And then I, I wrote back to the text. I said, take me out on a date. And then I, I literally told him what to do. Cause and then that di- and it didn't happen. Of course I get a text message at like midnight. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Was it W Y D? Oh no. 
This was a black dude. No, I'm saying Doug. Oh. Right. Did he spell it out? What are you doing? Oh, no. He actually wrote out. Right. He did He did, did, take, did take the time to write out what are you doing. <laughs> that's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> right. But that's how listen, low the low bar listen. is because it's even like now the you W, don't, you don't even have the time to, to spell, spell out, out what listen. are you doing? Would you want to hang out? Like, Can I ask a question without getting attacked? Mm. Yes. Okay. I mean, we're going to attack you for something else, but yeah. you can, yes. I agree. I agree with you. I think, um, I think it's, Dating is so easy now because it's so it's easier to so meet. Pe- it's easier yeah. to meet people without having to go meet people. Yeah, it's in your hand. Um, but I also think that we're in a time now where like women are trying to get their equality, like, equality, their power, and I'm for that. But what comes with that is girls going like, I just want to fuck a dude and leave. Of course, too. of course, mm-hmm. so it's like, empowerment. So, yeah, so it's like the the reason why the the whole courting thing is changing is because everything, everyone, as women change and the guys have to change, and then and so that's why if you like we're all old school type people, so mm-hmm. we're like, oh, we should go out, yeah, a couple times. Like I don't think I kissed my girlfriend for like the first three or four oh, dates. You know that. what I mean? Like, yeah. like it's. I don't like Because that's how I was raised. Right. But now people are just like. They're fucking. Fuck and they don't even know it. each other's last names yet. Yeah. 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 No, I know. Yeah. It's, so it's, I think that it's I think that it's like a there's a give and take there. Mm-hmm. Of course. Like, but there it has to be a, a median of where like you can respect us enough to know that we can have sex and not treat us like a sex object, but also treat Absolutely. me like a person. A person. I and just common person. courtesy. Like we're just we just we could want to have sex. Yes. But like still like don't necessarily text me at one o'clock in the morning especially if i told i told you take me out on a date why are you yeah, texting me at I midnight understand. right i don't understand again i'm not all. defending these yeah, dudes no, i'm just saying that it's like, just infuriating but anyway I tell you I was, yeah i like where does it leave year, where he, does it leave women like called this? me i said oh my gosh girl he called me on the phone mm-hmm. he did not text me back and girl. forth it was a phone call and we are impressed with that a call oh that turned into an actual day and then what happened? Then like we actually went on a date. It's like, yeah, okay, we talked for a little bit and like let's go on a date. Like, oh my gosh, he planned a date. Yeah. Like that impresses us now. Really? Back I don't know what's happening with Trevino, right? She's, <laughs> oh, she's taking her panties yeah. off. <laughs> I should have I'm sorry, she was doing all improv over here. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> she's taking those those drawers off. Cause he and that's that's literally all you have to do. Are you listening, fellas? This is literally all you have to do right now to impress a woman is call her. I went on a date yesterday. And the guy told me, you're very pretty. Aww. And I was like, <laughs> oh. And it's night. He wasn't like, oh, you're He boobs. wasn't like, damn, you fine. Yeah. He wasn't like being dishless. And he, it was genuine. He looked at me and was like, he was just, you're so pretty. And I was like, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. <laughs> did wiggle, did you I didn't wiggle the draws down. <laughs> right? Because I'm like, okay, I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? I was like, I've heard that before. Sometimes I think I think that they think it's enough to do that. Well, like, what, they're, yes, they do because they listen to podcasts like this and they're like, oh, that's all we got to do? <laughs> you fall. Right. Okay. And then they there's, like they like do the manipulation thing when it's not genuine. But there are some there are still some good guys out there. And there's some good guys who really just don't know how to behave. And that's, you know, we got to we got to train them. Yeah. So, ladies, just take some time and train them. We're doing a disservice to every woman that comes after you if we don't train them. That's true. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but we have to wrap this up. Mm. This has been so fantastic. Trevina Springer. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Trevina Spencer. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Trevina Springer. I love her so much. You guys, thank you once again for listening to The Struggle with Candace Thompson. <laughs> Find me at Jokes by Candace on Instagram and Twitter and Candace Thompson Comedy.com. Mal, go ahead. Malhall.com, everybody. Uh, I'm I'm headlining the Brea Improv on June 26th. That's a Tuesday night. Um and I would love for you guys to come out or at least spread the word to your friends. There's a free promo code. It's on my website. Um and besides that, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Trevena, where can anybody find you? And do you want to plug anything? Any shows or anything that's coming up? This uh, will post next. Uh, this will post next week. So just anything that's know, right? coming up. Uh, let's see. I um, can be found uh, at Trevena Springer on Instagram, Twitter, which I kind of use, and um, and at Trevena Spencer. Dot- <laughs> right, Trevena Spencer. <laughs> Listen, so common. Um, so <laughs> at Trevena Springer, TrevenaSpringer.com. and then also um, I'm in a web series right now called Unfair and Ugly that. 
we just released the third episode. The fourth episode is coming out. I on YouTube's? Is? Yes, it's on YouTube. Uh, YouTube's, is mm-hmm. the black version. And um, and then I'm uh, performing at the Ruby doing stand-up. I think it was formerly known as the Nerdist now. Yeah, nine, they, they have a new name now. Yeah, on Sunset. PM on the 11th. May 11th. Yes. Yeah, if you guys are locals, go to that. Yeah. Go support live comedy. Live. Yes. 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 All right, you guys. Thank you for listening and tune in next time to The Struggle. Later. <laughs> <laughs>